like Reacher. He's playing Reacher. He seems like he's just like, I don't know, like, like not like just like either he's I, there's something wrong. He's like he doesn't want to be. I thought there. I thought he was like autistic at first, and I had yes. to like Google it, and I was and they were like, no, the creator never made him autistic, and I'm like, what do you mean? He's so he just he clearly he's, he's so like autistic coded. Yes. What? It was Hi everyone, crazy. and welcome to uh, Top Flight Tales. Um, we're just here talking about everyone's favorite TV show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Reacher. It's great. It's yeah. fucking great. Uh, it's so bad. Reacher. I hardly know okay, her. Okay, <laughs> that's just we didn't. No one needed it. No, that I was reaching. Um, well, welcome everyone. Hey, hey, and, uh, uh, and I'm gonna say, Fractal, hey. don't go too far. Don't go too far to the side. You're gonna have to reach around. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was a pretty good one. Was it? It's a pretty good one that he did there because based based solely. On uh, on Fractal's reply, yeah. Um, but hi everybody, yeah. and um, and I, I want to give a special shout out just because we just were doing so with the thing. But a special shout out to Galinor and Saber and Brininger who who have been here for for like impressive numbers of months, twenty four and twenty one. Actually, I said that uh, twenty one or twenty four respectively for the order that I said their names because I was reading backwards at the court. It was a mistake. The point is, thank you so much. Oh, and I guess actually. Uh, KJ oh, wow. just uh, just uh, had to come in there as not Gen Z. So the first wait, two, they were- Wait, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Galleon Orange Saber, is that intentional or is that just random? Is there someone here <laughs> named Reacher 2024? Is that, what the fuck? That's, wait, genuinely what is going on? Is that, was wait. that a random? Was that like a, a, a random gift sub or was that specifically to them? Did you, re did you reach her out and find? <laughs> Or is this one of those things where did somebody like change their name to Reacher twenty? This this account was created in May twenty eighteen. So so somebody independent read wait the Reacher twenty twenty four account was created in twenty eighteen. Oh they okay that was specific. Okay that was specific. Okay, it would have been funny. Okay, is Reacher twenty twenty four here? No, I don't think so. You think that case anyone whether they been on the channel once or yeah, not. Yeah, for right. sure. Well, whoever you are, Reacher2024, we just want to say that <laughs> anything that, that, I just want to be very clear that anything that KJ and Steinberg were saying about Reacher does not necessarily reflect the views of this station. <laughs> also, enjoy that Rocky Jumper emote. Enjoy yeah. that Rocky Jumper emote, guys. Come on. When in doubt. <laughs> hey, get ready to rock the Rocky Jumper. Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about this game. We are down one player, because he had a he had a pre uh, pre-scheduled uh, conflicts but we have the rest of the crew here for top flight tales can we can we start calling pre-scheduled conflicts pre-existing conditions yes i mean that's <laughs> I, that's i if i didn't say that now i do apologize due to yeah. a pre-existing condition we denied him <laughs> coverage on the game tonight <laughs> um so uh so let's see here we have um we have a wonderful crew here uh and i'm very excited about some of the games we're doing. Uh, we are going to jump. So two weeks ago in issue number four, we went a little wild and we rolled a D13 and Dan, as is his special skill, hit that 13 for us and we started a new game. So there currently are four different storylines that we're following here in Top Flight Tales. We are of course following Top Flight West as they deal with the you know ramifications of the reappearance of the final the, the emergence of a new hell and all the sort of like top line super heroics they have to do. We are following Meridian, um, Meridian Salvation, as she um, is making the sort of determined decision to save Tatiana Temple from the astral plane no matter what. We also are following Neon Flight, where Frankie and Armament, previously seen in uh, Lost Their Academia, with Armament having been previous to that Lee being seen in Top Flight. Um, are, have find themselves in the future of Neo Alpha City, having joined up with Neon Flight. And we also, last or in our last game two weeks ago, by by grace of a 13, have started a new mini-series tie-in to this, which, as I said many times to justify it, is so on brand for these big crossovers. They always do this, where there'll be like a short series with new people that's really tied to things. So that's what Murder Babes is about. Murder Babes tracks three Swords of the Devil who report to, or sorry, Knives of the Devil, who report to Gadana the Sword of the Devil, um, as they are on a quest to, uh, basically somebody harmed a bunch of their legion. They found out it was an angel. 
thanks to Balia. Is that her name? Balia? Balia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to Balia's ability to teleport at a very, a very high roll in that she guided the, this trio through a portal and they wound up in the material world where they teamed up, where they're, they're soon to team up with the OG murder babe, Nightheart, against the ninjas of the Severed Heart. So it's going to be some fun stuff there. But for tonight, we're not rolling randomly, at least not at the outset, but we might for a subsequent a subsequent check-in. At the outset, we are going to be starting in the Neon Flight game. So we're going to be going back to that. So a quick recap on that, which has not appeared. Since Top Flight Tales uh, issue number two, um, basically Frankie and Armament, after the end of the Lost Lore Academia, uh, sort of uh, the end of their little enclosure of the Dreamlands, they were separated from the others, saved by Rocky Jumper, but sent into the future, 143 years after the time of the Two Hells War, to 2167, to Neo Alpha City, where um, they found themselves in the midst of a of a robbery by some members of G Syndicate from the Prescott Oshiro uh, or Oshiro Prescott Company. Uh, amidst this, Frankie was killed, but then was prevented from being killed by the Cloak of the Grave, making her the successor to Ghost Man, previous member of Top Flight. She is now Ghost Woman, and these new powers will sort of come become clear to her as she as she utilizes them in these adventures. Armament, of course, is a previous superhero, so he kind of understands what's up, but they went on the run with three members of Neon Flight. Those members are Baroness Darkness, Mecha Dinosaurian, not pictured today, but present, and KJ is is crushing it as Tatiana Temple. A clone. A future version clone. Um... So they went down to Omega City, the ruins below, and it is it has been revealed that Armament kind of notes that where they're hiding out is the very place, is like an arcade right near where uh, Findon killed a guy, because it's always Findon's fault. Um, so down there, uh, the group sort of, you know, kind of tried to help Frankie adjust to everything that's going on. Um, people came and talked to her while she was in the shower, which was, uh, which was a real sort of thing. Uh, Baroness Darkness is not at all scary. She just has two gaping holes in her head, out of which pour little nanites that she swings around from. And though she said she uses her hand to swing from the nanites created by her head, that isn't what it is. In all artwork, she is swinging from her head. So, I mean, she's cool. Look, there's a difference between something being scary and something being fucking weird. (laughs) Horrifying beyond belief. I think it is just cool, personally. Thank you. I think that, I think it's cool. Too. I think Baroness Darkness is cool, and I think that if Lumen saw Baroness Darkness, she would explode like a supernova. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> um. So, uh, so as we, uh, as the group kind of got over this, Mecha Dinosaurian did some, uh, did some j- jamming, some hacking, some uh, going onto the grid, and got some not neon news. That's how I wrote it in this thing, which I think is funny. Um. Apparently, the g the members of G-Syndicate, made off with several big-ticket items, though you did prevent them from getting the, the uh, or rather, they didn't make it away with the Cloak of the Grace and went to Frankie. They did get away with the Whiskey Box, some true Vectron tech, and Hellbringer, the Sword of Gidana. Which, quite frankly, how the hell did Oshira Prescott have that this whole time? But that means, do they need to talk to Captain Heldrich synth devil's current identity in this timeline about this and then we had a little check-in with captain heldrich at the end um so i also will notice that i'm and i i don't think i i noted this down as well as i should have um there are other members of top flight uh, of neon flight i believe i said there were five total there were five members before these two so there's now seven so there are two other members but you I said did Shinobi Steel, right? Did I say Shinobi Steel was one? I think you did. Okay, yeah. so Shinobi Steel is one. We have not revealed the other. Thank you so much. Okay, that is... Thank you. I appreciate... Hey, guys, I appreciate that. Shinobi Steel is off on a mission with whoever the other member is. Will they be revealed today? I don't know. But the point being, 
now that we're kind of caught up on this, and guys, I'm so sorry, this, this music here is not... There we go. A little more synth. That's a little more, a little more, a little more fitting for this time period. Schrodinger's top flight character. I love it, KJ. Uh, so, um, with, with that in mind, um, I give you choices of a prologue. Set here in the neon flight timeline. Option one. G Syndicate Cyber Lair 2247. Option two. Church of the Pearl. Elm Street, Neo Alpha City. Oh. <laughs> so you can. Oh wait, everyone's voting two. <laughs> All right, it's a universal, everybody. Um. So as we go to the uh, as we go to the Church of the Pearl. <laughs> um. A a man is standing on the strict stage. And he is saying, Ah, oh, my brothers and sisters, let us never forget that above all else is dread. Dread is the source of all of our desires. Dread is the source of all that we aspire to be. Dread is everything we've ever hoped for, and it is in dread that we will be saved. There is a little ping noise out of the crowd. This preacher man kind of pauses, is a little irritated because tell everyone to, you know, turn off their tech when they come into the Church of Dread, but he pushes through. For remember what the Holy Doll said. There is nothing so powerful that it is not afraid of something else. For Dread is what binds us together. Ping, 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 ping. More alerts are going off, and pretty soon this preacher notices that people are looking at their devices. Maybe even, like, pulling them up from, like, cool little hollow displays, because that happens in, in TV shows a lot. They're all looking at stuff, but what is going on? He continues to try to carry on with this, but people begin to whisper together over whatever it is they're seeing. He is shocked, but then he starts feeling a buzzing at his own hip, and he pulls out his own device. He says, everyone, if we could just... But when he looks down, his words fall away. The breakout at the Oshiro Prescott group that G Syndicate did, their attack there, and images of Neon Flight, and particularly of Ghost Woman, are shown on various news feeds feeds that Oshiro Prescott either was unable to censor or perhaps they wanted the word out that G Syndicate to sort of allow them to take harsher action against G Syndicate in retaliation. Regardless, it's on the grid now. But these images of Ghost Woman in particular, what everyone here is looking about, and you hear many people whispering about the arrival. And then one says, Preacher, is this, is this the dark messiah that Maisie foretold? says it might be yet my brothers and sisters in dread it might be yet we go back to the Omega City hideout of top flight um a little time has passed uh Frankie you took your shower I did you're 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 great and you're also dead oh and you know and and uh, Fernando's still kind of in your mind but he's trying to you know not freak out but you have no injury so that's cool armament you have sort of you know gotten a little bit more caught up on what's been going on i think you were you were you were plugging into the grid to get some intel baroness darkness was looking not at all scary and tatiana temple was acting not at all superior um the point is however that the main question on your mind is one do you guys need to go and try to track down either you know, Whiskey Box, Vectron Tech, Hellbringer is one of those the most important to you. Do you want to go try to find where they are? They, they may have been split up by now. That's kind of, typically you wouldn't keep all this stuff like in one place. Um, or is the most important thing to find Captain Heldrich. And Armament, you have heard, of course, that Captain Heldrich, that Synth Devil is now has something called the Power Heldrich. That Eldritch power has been infused with hell. So, 
I'm trying to remember, I feel like it was Eldritch, but yes. I'm not 100 percent sure. I want to say I mean, that we did want to go there. Mm -hmm. I personally want to go there just because I think that that's like one of the one remaining tethers I have to my own time. Of course. Um, so if you guys want to go to find to find Captain Heldrich, um, you have two options. One, you can kind of go look for him, or you could sort of you know put out a call for him. But if you put out a call, you know who knows. He, I will say, Captain Heldrich is certainly not an enemy of Neon Flight, but he's. He's doing his own thing. He, 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 he does whatever goals you guys have to take down a share of Prescott. His goals are all about protecting the power Heldrich. He still sort of adheres to that original promise and program. So, you know, if you say, let's meet, he could show up with a bunch of, you know, like, like his synth backup people. You know, you, you, you're, he probably wouldn't ambush you, but, but... It's possible, the, the circumstances, you'd give him time to prepare, whereas if you guys just simply seek him out, you might be able to, you'll kind of, you can, you're, you'll, you'll, you'll catch him more off guard. Or, or third option, we could just stay here, put in a little bit more study, and, um, and we really get, get our minds around uh, what's happening and what we're doing and, and our, the rest of our lives. I'm going to address that in just one second. So just to clarify. Yes. We as Neon Flight don't really trust Captain Heldridge. He is not your... Like, we he... don't think he's a bad... He's not, like, against us, but he's not someone that we're like, yeah, let's just go ask him. He's always, like, cool or whatever. Correct. And if, if there's one thing where your guys' goals may not be aligned, it could be this sword. You certainly think he should be aware that it's out there, but you're not necessarily sure you'd like him to have it. Okay. Hmm. Darling, you let me get this straight. You want to stay here and, and study? I think that you can never study enough. Frankie, I know it's easy when you're in an unfamiliar situation to fall back on the things you know and that feel comfortable. But we have to, this is a time to move. This is a time to act. Yes, no no part of me is comfortable in this moment. Um, uh, and, well, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll follow what you guys want to do. I just thought, you know, I'd put it out there. If you'd really, feel comfortable staying we... here, we can do this without you. Okay, well, maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know, but I, I would <laughs> like to, to, to be where you guys are. All right, um, I'll look to the people who are from this time. <laughs> Where do we start? So, real people? <laughs> okay, that's all well and good, so real guys. Where where do, I mean, do we know where to go? If you want to track down Synth Devil, you know the areas where he often hangs out, so you absolutely know where you could go. Or if you okay. put a call out to him, he will you will automatically meet him at any point you want, at any place you want. But, you know, you never know. You never know what that, you know. I think I'm, I think I'm basically, I think I've probably complicated this more than I need to. There's, to, oh, why will not we do it as a role? Tatiana Temple, you genius. You brilliant. What, you what brilliant. dice are these? I don't even know. This what is we're... the D10 system. Fucking. So you are going to use your intellect and your um, detect five. So, you're going to roll a d10 and add 14 to it. Also, friends, and I, I, it has been a while since we've played this one. I'm going to grab some for you right now. You guys do have hero dice in the system. You have your set of I 14? You add four. So you, oh, yes. I am. I should talk everyone through that. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Neon Flight. In this game, what you're going to do is you're going to add one of those the colored boxes along the top. Those are your, uh, those are like your ability ranks. So you add the number from that. This is an intellect one. You're thinking about this. And then you add a, the modifier for a skill if one applies. Because I'm saying this is a detect vibe as you're sort of using your brain to think about what the current situation is, which one's better. You get to add the four that you have in detect vibe and the 10 of that. 
to a d10 roll. But remember, if you roll a 1, it's a critical failure. And Okay. So yeah. 6, so 20. Not, yeah, 20. You rolled 6, so 20. Great. That's a, that's a great one. Um, so with a, um, with a 20, Tatiana Temple, you think in a perfect world, you would, you would hunt him down and kind of catch him off guard and sort of tell him, you know, all of this kind of like, you, you'd kind of present this to him. But because time is, uh, is, a, is a factor, and if you say we need to meet you immediately, it is possible that he'll he'll just sort of come quickly. He may have already heard some buzz of this <laughs> since now that he'll come quickly. Yeah, that's always said. Okay. Um, the point is, the the buzz of this is out there on the grid, so like he may be aware of this. So he may he may arrive with great speed <laughs> in just like a like a like you know. Oh boy, everything I say now sounds like it. Um, it won't take long, <laughs> and he'll, uh, yeah. If you, if he'll, he'll get there real quick, on account of. Oh this. yeah. As soon as he hears your voice. Okay. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. So yes. So still could make sense to sort of slow play it and seek him out because then you'd have the advantage of fighting him. But given the circumstances, you think the danger is minimal with calling for a meeting. Okay, then okay. Then let's call him. Great. Uh, would Where would you like to meet him, or do you just kind of any neutral space fine? We can just hand wave that. Yes. Cool, great. Um, I will... No. Uh, is there, like, a neutral, I guess, coffee shop near mm -hmm. a college? Yes, there are certainly some colleges up in Neo Alpha City, um, where you guys could try to like. Yeah, there's there are some. Sure, some some a coffee shop near one of those is probably a, is probably a thing you guys could could track down. Um, it's tricky because you don't want to be in too public a place. But if you tell if you tell Mecha Dinosaurian to hang back, we'll say he's not going on this mission. He's gonna stay here and keep jamming. So yeah, if it's just you guys. People in cloaks and maybe some armor not as conspicuous as giant robot thing. And Baroness Darkness doesn't have to look terrifying. I'll, I'll make sure everything looks like shades right now. You just have some cool, yeah, some some cool dense shades, shades made out of like... your made out of your nanites. I love it. Yeah. Okay. okay, so yes, if you send a message to him to meet you. Uh, is use computers the same as hacking? Uh, use computers is what you would use to hack, yes. Okay. Um, if you're going to send him a message to meet you at, um, um, at a place, um, you can go to the Cafe Factory. Is it is a good coffee shop? Okay. Uh, and that'll be next to, uh, N-A-C-U? Sure. Sure. Okay, cool. And um, you send that message out, and then you guys can can head that way. So we will we will sort of wave okay. our, wave our hands and say that you guys have made it to that. Now, yeah. What? So what is your plan, Tatiana? Oh uh, well, while we're waiting for Synth, she basically wants to find some, figure out which one is like a college student, and then just hack their computer or whatever for their like course work. And then just give it to Frankie and just say, here, study that. <laughs> Whatever this is, you can read yeah, it. Yeah, I understand. Go ahead and add intellect to use computers. Uh, another four, so roll a d10 and add 14. Oh, nine. Um, so. 23. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, with a 23, <laughs> um, you, uh, yeah, you, uh, you certainly have, um, pretty easily hacked the student you, you've cloned this student's computer and frankie you're given some homework listen i know this is not in the kindest manner that this is given to me but i'm gonna ace it so oh no i'm not i mean sure i'm, I'm not going to grade it though you understand that right i'm not okay um i'm just gonna lean over and whisper to tatiana you may want to tell her you'll grade it 
<laughs> but I don't want to. It'll do a lot for her. I'm sure it will. I don't... Okay, fine. Mm, I'm trustworthy. I can grade it myself and then let you know as well. Oh, that sounds worse. <laughs> Any iteration of that is bad. If she's like, I did perfect, it's better. If she's like, well, I missed two, but it actually wasn't my fault for these reasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so as you guys wait um, near this coffee shop, you're probably not inside of it, given. Yeah, I just needed the student stuff. Kind of in the alley, but soon you do smell a, a touch of odd brimstone and, and kind of something unworldly. And uh, Synth Devil begins to sort of step out of the shadows, saying, Ah, Neon Flight, a team. So close to what I used to call my own, and yet so far from... He pauses upon seeing Armament. What manner, manner of devilry is this? You know me, no devilry here, Synth Devil. I am not Synth Devil any longer. I am Captain Heldrich. And sure enough, Synth Devil's like cape is now kind of looks like what you know the captain, the Captain Eldritch one does. It's kind of the kind of the vibe. But he says, and yet, you really are the armament I knew human lifetimes ago. So, um, explain yourself. You look, you look. I mean, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll go first, then you go after, because you sure look different. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, Indeed. long story short, Rocky Jumper took me to a different world, and then he took me to the to back here, but in this time. A long story told most succinctly, indeed. It is I a mean, shame what happened to Rocky Jumper, however. Wait, did I hear, did I hear about that last time? I think you did, yes. The yeah. Story I, of the Parapocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I see there is another here. unknown member. Neon flight here, however. I recognize your face from the vids. From, from the what? The Sorry, vids. I didn't... Oh, vids. I do not see the cloak upon you now. And yet, my hellish power does sense the grave upon you. His fingertips, like, are always burning. Although, interestingly, Armament, one other change is that the flame that's coming off of his fingertips kind of looks like like pixelated and digital kind of like oh did he learn how to use touch screens but can he text now i know that tatiana temple would not ask that but no i know this is kj <laughs> oh oh did he <laughs> um he'll sort of say yes you are the new bearer of the cloak of the of the grave. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. In your mind, Fernando says, uh, Frankie, this is, um, this is, uh, apparently he's something else now, but I, I, I as Armament, didn't know this man is Synth Devil. Um, you, of course, know Synth Devil from your time as well, but, um, he's, he wasn't like this, though. This is very strange. Good strange or bad strange? Um, I don't think good strange, but maybe not bad strange. Also, when I am speaking to the people in my head, can is that allowed? It's totally allowed. No one else no one else can hear what you're saying, though they can. Though they might notice that you're like staring off into space, you know. So it's not allowed. I thought you said when you said allowed, I was like A L L O W E D, and I was like, it's totally yeah, you can totally oh, do that. Gotcha. Sorry, nope. Yes, it is not. It is not allowed. Yes, it is not out loud okay. or allowed. People don't hear what you're saying. Okay. So confused. That is on me. So what happened to you, hmm. Captain? Well, long after the war of the two hells and various other adventures that, well. I'm sure you'll get caught up on them eventually. The power Eldritch had to merge 
with hell's own might to stop an even greater threat. I claimed it and transformed one of the hells. Some might say in mine own image. I am now, but I did not seek to rule the new synth hell, where the souls of robots who are damned go to fritter away their bites in an eternal memory. I simply wished to wield its power as its champion here, as Captain Heldrich. I have both the power of synth hell and the power of the old hell together. Congratulations. I appreciate that, my old teammate. But unfortunately, I can no longer call you my teammate, as Neon Flight and Hell are not always on the same side. Why have you summoned me? Clone. Hell Robot. <laughs> Hell Robot. What is the sword called again? Hellbringer. Hellbringer. And we're just telling, it's been so long, sorry, we're just telling him it's been stolen, or? You're checking it. You assume he by now knows it's stolen, but you, oh, actually, no, he may not know that it is stolen. So you, you have learned that it's stolen. So that probably is still a secret. <clears throat> so you can okay. let him know that it's stolen and kind of just like, you know, giving him a heads up while also maybe sussing out what he might do about it. See if that's, a, if this is a new headache you guys have. Um, do you keep track of Hellbringer at all? Hellbringer was lost. Well, it's gone. Doesn't matter. Hellbringer was lost many years ago. It was lost again. That implies that it was found. Oh, it was. It was. So the rumors are true. The Oshiro Press God group had Hellbringer this whole time. It is uncharacteristic of them not to have tried to use the weapon. So well, they can't now. It's been stolen again, so... Who has it now, then? And how do you know it was among what was taken? Who stole it? Fucking... Sorry, G Syndicate. I know. Uh, well... A lot, of, a lot of proper nouns to throw at you guys. Apologies. Yeah. Uh, G Syndicate stole it, and um, because we do that. It does strike me that Grendel will attempt to use the sword with more recklessness and direct action than the Oshiro Prescott group might have done. So this is a courtesy warning to me, Master of the power Heldrich. What is your real angle here? I just wanted to give you a little friendly information, darling. I mean, we could have not told you. I am a devil. I know nothing is yes. free. Oh, you're a devil. You always, oh, it's clear. <sighs> the clone, always. Hell robot. Oh, oh my God. Armament. I'm surprised that you're so willing to team up with someone who is... I can vouch for her heroism. Although it is possible I mean, she plans an even greater turn and, and betray her eventually. Well, Captain Heldridge, it seems that they were there to help. You use my own words and bonds against me. But very well done. I regret this meeting. <laughs> so... You came here to tell me this, but what is it you want in return? My assistance in helping you reclaim it from G Syndicate? A promise that I won't use it to further extend Earl's influence? Well, if you're offering. I will agree to the former the latter I cannot agree to. All I do must be in service of hell. That being said, if you have a safe place for Hellbringer, where 
None of our mutual enemies can utilize it, where no one can utilize it. I could be amenable. Of course we do. Hmm. Then, I will assist you in preventing G-Syndicate from encroaching on my turf. Where is it? Do we know where it is? You don't know yet, no. You have no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we are still finding it. <clears throat> Understood. Well then, armament, ghost woman, baroness, darkness, and clone. For now, the power Heldridge is on your side. Neon flight armament. It's almost like old times. <laughs> Quite different, but <laughs> <laughs> not even remotely. No. Um. Meanwhile, Frankie, you've been doing some homework. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think you can use your intellect, and um, I'll let you do your calculate as well. So you have nine points to add. So roll the d10. Which is, uh, you're so, you have so many D100s and, like, no D10s in here. This is all of my fault, and I do apologize. Uh, here, tell you what. Here's, here's a, there's a D10 for you. Oh, cool. I like the way to... It's gemstone -y. yeah. You get to add nine. Sixteen. Seven plus nine is sixteen. So, yes, meanwhile, you have done a very good job. Well, what kind of good job? I mean, you've, you've gotten it all right. But do you want to grade yourself? Did I have time? Yeah, of course. Roll roll that again. <laughs> did she get extra credit though? She here's the thing. You did you did exactly she rolled another seven. She did exactly the same job grading as she did taking it. So as far wow. as you're concerned, it's flawless. <laughs> So yeah, if you if you want to hand it to, to Tatiana Temple now, you may. I might wait till she's in a better mood. Understood. I don't want to gloat right now. <laughs> All right. So um, if you guys are going to uh, look into G Syndicate and where this sword might be, you have two options. One, you could go to a known G Syndicate. Um, literally just said it. You could go to one of their known cyber layers, which is where they sort of conduct their business. Or you could you could take more of a like, you know, research research route and, and try to, you know, basically you can go take the fight to them, rattle some cages, you know, see what you find. Or you can try to like, you know, research on the on the net, on the grid. You'll you'll get less the possibility of direct intel if you go to a cyber layer is much higher. But but there's also danger and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm perfectly happy to go crack some skulls, but I also don't know if that will give, give, uh, Rendell, you know, more of a heads up that we're coming. Also a very good point. Um, so yeah, I guess, how how does the team, how would Baroness Darkness vote on this? Do you, want to, do you want to take the sort of slow, cautious thing, or do you want to go rattle some cages? Are you going to be Poirot, or are you going to be Sam Spade? That's basically in terms of detectives. It's real detective references for everyone. Else. You're muted. Oh no. I kind of want to go carefully, but also at the same time, because I do swing with my eyes, I feel like I would just be very gung ho. Like, could, how how else would you sneak that way? Like, you can't sneak. 
I... Um, well, you can sneak because you can hide yourself in nanites, because I think you have a very high stealth stealth modifier. Hey, do I? I believe you. You. She's about to change her vote. Yeah, you. You have a, You have. You have a seven in sneak. Oh. Yes, oh, I'm. I'm just gonna like almost look like a giant spider sneaking through at this yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, you just you just blend perfectly that... into shadow. How is a giant spider sneaking? Because she's climbing up on the walls, yeah, like like a spider there. would. No, no one looks no one, up there. No one ever notices a no giant spider. No one ever looks up there. No. If there, that's how they if there always get you. There was a five you. foot tall spider on my ceiling. You bet I would fucking see it. <laughs> it's a very stealthy spider. You'd hope you'd see it. I think. Is yeah, you'd mean. hope you see it until it's too late. Cause crawl. Oh, the sound spider makes crawl. Yeah, <laughs> crawl. When when Ghost Woman becomes intangible, yes, can others see her? Uh, yes. You, I believe Ghost Woman has some. I believe Ghost Woman can be invisible, but also, uh, yes, Ghost Man can go invisible, but but actually, Ghost Man can't go fully invisible. He can become kind of like eerily, kind of like sort of see through. So like. You know, like, it's, you, you sort of see the shape of him, but it's more to be kind of creepy and ghost-like. But uh, you definitely are good at sneaking when you're, you know, when you're cloaked up and stuff. Okay. Oh, you don't have any any sneak. Though. Well, <laughs> I've got okay. no sneak. But... I, I'd probably let you, I'd probably let you throw your ghostly intangibility onto the sneak, even if you're, even if you're not, you know, invisible, you're kind of more Maybe shadowed or something. If yeah. it's foggy out. Precisely, yeah. I can make it foggy. Okay, so basically, so far, we have two official votes for either way. Because <laughs> Armit and Baron in this darkness said, I see the I see the quality of both. Um, Frankie, let's go to the let's go to the team's most decisive member. Um, Frankie, do you think you guys should go go do the direct approach to a fight, or should you do more research, case some joints, get some intel slow? I will also let you guys know in game, kind of like meta, if you decide to do a fight. We're going to do that fight. If you guys decide to gather intel slowly, we're going to move on to another story. I mean, I will say, like, I think, like, Armament would be willing to would want to play it more cautiously right now. Okay. Just because, again, unfamiliar territory. So, so one vote for cautious. Baroness Darkness is a vote for either or. Frankie? Um, well, for the group, like, where do we stand? What's this, the most appropriate way to get autographs for, like, the super beings that we do come into contact with? To get, to get what? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if, if one wanted an autograph from someone, like, is it appropriate to ask someone you're about to fight, like, or... Would you need to do it after? Or, like, I'm just trying to figure out if Sneak would be best, or, like, if I did, you Frankie, know... who do you want an autograph from? Oh, everyone so far. Why? Since Devil will say, I am beginning to be very confused about the new ghost woman. <laughs> <clears throat> Fernando says yeah. in your head, you know what? That's good. Okay. That's good. Who is she? What is happening? Um, so yes, Frankie is asked, what is the, so basically we have, so far, the official tally of votes is one vote for stealth, one vote for either way, one vote for, is it appropriate to ask for autographs before you fight someone? And Tatiana Temple, what is your vote? Um, I'm going to go right past the nonsense you just said, darling. Um, we're not. Here's, we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna gather information. Um, and Frankie, this since you're studying, uh, you can choose to not do this. But I think you should go in and um, case some joints. I believe, and Baroness will back you up. What do you mean, like for? For our fights, for our, for mm -hmm. to gather information, um, you were listening this whole time, right? Yes. Should I have given you the homework afterwards? Was that a mistake on my part? You're giving her homework. <laughs> she is just 
a child without something to read or write on just absolutely cannot focus. Okay, well, she needed she... paper when she got, she asked for paper and ink. Oh, that does take me back. I loved the smell of paper accidentally burning in my hands. Okay, well, Ash, you you like the smell of ash? I actually technically don't know if I liked it. I'm speaking poetically. Would you be able to conjure up paper? Oh, please don't encourage her. <sighs> I just, if, if it helps her get the strategy of gathering everything, like, I feel like we. By leaving we need to a throw literal a bone. paper trail? Yes. Oh, oh I never lose track fair. of paper. Very well. And how did you come here with none? <sighs> Synth Devil does gesture his hands and says, This is parchment from the depths of hell. This is the kind of paper enchanted with magic upon which contracts for souls can be made. However, oh no, she just asked about autographs. Please don't give her that. Well, now hold on. If she uses this to like make some deals with some people, do you have any infernal legacy? Can you write in blood? <laughs> can I? Fernandez says, "Don't write anything in blood on this paper." <laughs> The point is, it could also be used for grocery lists. So gross. Do no what you said was so disgusting. Um, well, I, I promise not to lose track of the notes, and I will, I will, um, I'll use my own shorthand. No one's been able to copy me before. I... Well. I'm sorry. I was asking you to like, like sneak around places. Right. But this is what how is she'll short... take notes. Okay. I, I can literally make her a desk if she needs to write. Please don't. Please don't make her a, a desk. Oh, my <laughs> a God. desk comes out of your eyes. <laughs> Just, I, I won't look at you when I make the oh, desk, God. but the desk will be there. Love it so like... much. Uh, Tatiana, I promise um, everything will be much more efficient if I can take notes and, and you won't be sorry. Those both can't be true, but okay. Uh, Baroness, please please watch her. I regret this already. I regret everything. <laughs> All right. Um, in that case, rather than ending, we'll do basically we'll just do like one quick little roll thing here. So, um, Baroness Darkness, you are going to watch as you're going to kind of help Frankie head to near one of the cyber layers. Okay. Okay. Frankie, look at all the skills you have, including your new ghostly abilities. Would you like to? What would? How would you like to observe this place? The sort of simplest option. So basically, I'm going to say you're going to get to make the goal, and then we're going to have Baroness Darkness can roll. You'll get to decide what you want to do, and then Baroness Darkness can make a roll to support that as she sees fit, presumably using her terrifying uh, eyes. So, Just um, don't look at me. That is. So yeah, some, some options for what you could do is you could simply do a look roll to kind of see what you can notice. You have a pretty... You have, you know, four in look. Um, you, you know, you're somewhat charming and persuading. Um, Compose Create won't be as good. You, If you want to go crazy, however, you could do some ghostly intangibility and ghost walking to, like, you know, to, to sort of to go through a wall and observe stuff and come out. Could I... Could I try to um, just, like, not to go through, but just to get my ear through? I love this plan, yes. Um, okay, so basically, um, Baroness Darkness, Frankie's plan is to phase partially through, like, a back wall of this when no one's around watching, to peek in, see what she sees or hears. She's going to be using her new magic. Is there anything you, anything that makes sense for you to do to try to help her with that? I can offer uh... suggestions if you'd like, or if you have an idea, go for it. So... What exactly is Shadow Sense? Like, Shadow Sense is your ability 
to um like you can see oh. through you can see in total darkness yeah i i feel like i I should use that to kind of help, right? I love it. Okay, great. So if you're going to do a shadow sense roll, you are going to get to add your vitality and your shadow sense, which is a 13. So you're actually going to do your shadow sense first to kind of okay. basically find the place for Frankie to do this that is both safe and maybe helpful. So okay. you're going to roll a d10 and you're going to add yeah. it to three and uh, to, to sort of six and seven. So you have a 13 modifier. If you'd like to, okay. you could throw a hero die. You know, you could... You could you could spend a neon to get advantage of this, um, or uh, or you could oh you could oh I forget you can hack the roll you can spend your d6 guys you should you should spend dice on these because it's the last roll we're making uh, you can spend your d6 to hack the roll where it's a it's a critical success on eight nine or ten that's always a fun one okay yeah I'll use the d6 cool all right so uh, so um, roll your d6 that's a one. Cool. You don't retain it, but go ahead and roll a d10. Okay. Uh, seventeen in total. You rolled a four. Yeah. So unfortunate attempt to hack didn't work out, but it's still cool you did it. So with yeah. a seventeen, I will say that you do have um. It's hard to get a full read on this, but the thing you were confident that you have found a place that she is going to not be observed from the street. You found like a dark corner, and you're like, if you poke your head in here, maybe you'll overhear some things. Um, however, one thing that you're not you 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 were unable to do this to the maximum degree. Your shadow senses were picking up latent bits of kind of energy. This safe house, this cyber lair, is somewhat electrically shielded. So, based on what Ghost Woman has explained about her power, read what Fermando has explained about her power and she said aloud. She can phase through some of this, but she will have to spend some power to do so and it might be more difficult. But you have found an area where you think it's least, but with a 17, you 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 you, you weren't able to find a place where there's none. You weren't able to find yeah. like an unguarded pocket. Okay. Um, and tell you what, throw on a, um, give me a, uh, a, god, you get to, uh, give me a shadow paint plus your coordination, which is a plus 16. Let's have you, like, throw up some, like, dark, darkness in this area as well. So roll yeah. a d10 and add 16 to it. Ooh, that's a 10 on it. Wait, it's a 10? Roll it again. Oh. That's a five. So that's a 31 you just got. Woo! So basically, Baroness Darkness, you you found a good spot that wasn't bad, and now you have doused the area in shadow. So Ghost Woman, you're kind of in the dark, and Fernanda's like, ooh, yeah, this is feeling, feeling more familiar. All right, so when you look through this wall, it, there's going to be resistance because, as your friend Baroness Darkness has told you, it is it is there is some electric shielding. Um, you're going to have to dig deep and use some power, so you do have to use a couple neon here. Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to have to use three neon. I'll deduct that for you. But go ahead and make your roll. Before you do so, would you like to roll your d6 so you have a... An, a, a uh, um, you want to hack this roll? Yes. Am I able... If I roll a hero die during, am I still able to do one after? You... Some of them you can. So, like, yeah. the hero d4 you do after. Mm -hmm. um, the... And this one? That one you do. Oh, yes. Oh. You do that one after making the roll. You do the d12 after. But the d6 you have to do first. Okay. I'll do the d6 first. So roll, roll this d6. No problem. You still get the, you still get the benefit. Um, would you also like to spend some additional power to... You can... Um, if you spend um, some more neon, you can deactivate the possibility that you that you uh, have a critical failure. I think we should do that. Cool, sounds good. All right, so go ahead and roll your d10. On an eight, nine, or 10, you're gonna get to roll it again. Well, the good news is you have rolled a one, but it's not a critical failure because you, 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 uh, you um, deactivated the possibility. If you'd like to, you could now roll your d4 and re-roll that. I would like to. Make your d4 roll for, yeah, those. 
It is a, it's not a four, sadly, so you lose it, but go ahead and roll again. So close to the thing, but a seven is still good, so that you'll add that to your ghostly intangibility, which is a 12, and then to your an 18. Okay, so you peer through the wall, and it is hard. It is like, as you're like pushing your face through, like that, you get the you get the resistance, but having dug deep, it's not causing you any pain, but it's kind of difficult. That being said, you make your way through. Go ahead and add your vitality and your look together, which is a ten. So roll that and just add a add a thing. You're gonna get some information from this observation, but if you roll high on this, you'll you'll get like additional. Six is pretty good. Yeah. So with a sixteen, as you look in, you do see kind of like on the far side of the cyber layer. And you're kind of like nestled amongst various computer screens, so your face probably wouldn't even pop up. And you're, you're kind of, it's, we'll say you took some of the Baroness's nanites with you, so you're like, no one could see you at all. It's, it's, yeah, it's like her eye things are trying to go into your eyes. It's really upsetting. Anyway, as you sort of peer through, you see there are a few figures with many kind of like, like, you know, kind of cyber, cybernetics in and some tattoos and things. They're moving around chatting, but, um, one of them is talking about how um, they have something very important here. And they're saying, like, they're saying, like, obviously the boss is spreading. Actually. Okay, no, it is a guy. Obviously the boss is spreading it all around, you know, gotta keep stuff safe. But between you and me, we have the most important one here. It's the one he wants, it's the one he cares about the most. Should we look at it, guys? And one of them's like, yeah, sure. Um, come on. I'm not scared. Let's do it. If it's good enough for the boss, it's good enough for us, right? Yeah, but no touching it, because it's his. They go over to a crate and open it up. And with your 16, you can tell that what they're looking at, it's very odd. It seems to be a box made out of a liquid. It's like, it's like holding its form, but it's rippling like liquid. And you, from reading Top Flight Comics, know it is the whiskey box. So Hellbringer is not at this site, but these guys are looking at the whiskey box. And one's like, oh, cool! Is that like, is that, is that real booze? He's like, yeah, it is, but it's only for the boss. So don't get any ideas. All right, this goes it up. Hold on, man. Maybe we could try it. No, 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 no. The boss is going to be mad if you sample his stuff. How about just like a, how about I just take a sniff of it? And he's like, I don't know. All right, do you want to stand here and keep watching or do you want to get out and report? Um, I, I want to, have I, has my... Sorry. Has some of my body been in and some of my body been out? I think that's how it is. It's like just your head's in and the rest of you's in the alley. Protecting so the I, I could have been taking notes on the outside. You absolutely could be taking notes on the outside. Okay. Then, You're so good at taking notes, you don't have to see the paper to take notes. That's fine. Then, um... Going court stenographer mode? Court, <laughs> court steno mode. No, oh taking God. under her special skills. I, it really needs to be. She, I, I should give her, hold on, I should give her that as a custom skill. Uh, yeah, I'm giving her note taking under a custom skills. There you go. Um, so, um, I've I'm gonna give her six. Taken down the, <laughs> the, the conversation verbatim, and then um, notes on what I saw. Um, okay. So I, I'm gonna split. I don't wanna push this too far. You don't wanna see anything potentially terrible. All right, cool. <laughs> As you move out, you don't hear any screaming. Um, so, as you as you sort of move out, you can report this to Baroness Darkness, and this is actually good intel, Tatiana. Um, yeah. You guys know that this, you know what is here, and you know it's not here, but you do know it will be in one of the layers. So now it's just a matter of casing some joints and finding some stuff out. So, with that successful mini-mission done, with Tatiana Temple deeply disturbed by Ghost Woman's <laughs> need to, uh, to just just hardcore take notes, get approval, and get autographs was the new one. Got I'm ready for you to have an autograph on this hell paper. That's going to be great if somehow you own someone's soul because you got them to sign it. I know, right? If, the, if their blood, if they, like, if after they, a fight, if they accidentally sign like, in blood. They're just like, ow! Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be fun. But we're going to move away now from this narrative. Um, we have some other ones to sort of choose from. Um... KJ, are you comfortable with this being a random roll, or would you like me to pick the most? I don't care anymore. Just do it. Oh, she's been broken. Roll that for me, please. (laughs) 
Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> you don't want to do it? I can't be responsible. Dan, roll a d6, please. Oh, man. I, you know what I was reaching for. I know you were reaching for. Well, you know what? Tell you what. Roll a d13. Oh. If you roll a 13, however, <laughs> it won't be... It's fine. Just roll it. See <laughs> One. One. Love it. Guys... When last we met, when last we checked in with Meridian, she oh. had de- decided that, along with new new team member Violet Tower, you don't have a part in this one, but you can still control Meridian. Um, <laughs> uh, that the team consisting of Violet Tower, um, Michael Sheen, Dan's character's name is Michael <laughs> Sheen, by the way, but it's spelled Mikhail. And We've been arrived um, before. I think it's... Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. You know this from... Yeah, you know you know Michael and Rena from from Formation Nation. Violet Tower is a new uh, Fiat agent who you don't know. Um, yeah, and of course your friend Zeb. But if you're there, if Steel Trap's ever there, he goes by Zach because uh, she refuses to call him Zeb. Um, oh boy. Um, so uh, when last we checked in with Meridian. Oh wait, guys, one moment. What's what's the dice for this one? The D100, D100, right? D100, but I'm going to go to a Meridian break screen and then come back one moment. And we're back. Okay, so now it's a new storyline. I don't always remember to do that. In this little Meridian story, um, when last we checked in with them, the team decided that their best bet to go was to travel through space to an area where one can access the astral plane kind of in deep space. The problem, it is in cathedral territory. And though they had a few options for how they could potentially get there, they ultimately decided that (sighs) trying to use a stealth craft from Fiat was probably a a, a bad idea. Asking for top sauce was a worse idea because we don't want Top Flight West involved. So the best bet was to um, take a normal vessel out there and involve team tomorrow the ones who gave top flight west top sauce in the first place a meridian feels they will be more sympathetic to her end since here on earth things are a little more complex so um she prepared to uh, to do that you guys started packing up for your trip meridian then however uh started flying around alpha city preparing to leave oh that one opened with the awkward thing where she texted ghost man about hanging out again and he was like no no ghost man in the past is sort of dating meridian but things are awkward now Mm. um so uh so basically she she he never texted she said you know what hopefully we can we can hang out when i get back you know i'm leaving the planet now um, she noticed that Ice Queen was in top forum. I really like this detail. I really like this was the vote we did. She noticed top uh, Ice Queen was in top forum, but she decided she didn't want to talk to her. She was like, I don't want to get into it with her because like stuff's already awkward. So instead, oh no, there's a commotion down here. So she flew down to the street of Alpha of Alpha City and discovered that there was like a retail store has been converted into hell on earth an embassy of new hell where some kind of like you know be suited people were like trying to like stop an angry crowd meridian said okay guys calm down she of course is very opposed to hell she stepped in and wouldn't you know it she came face to face with new hell's ambassador mind lord whom steel trap beat on null island so that is where we're resuming. So actually, though you've all put your characters up, we're not starting with them, guys. And to all of our viewers, get out there, get ready to do some voting as well. You guys get votes in addition to all these players. Do you like that, KJ? You like that? It's just you're just you're just controlling it, just controlling a group NPC. Yep. I, I'm I'm indifferent. I am numb to it. It doesn't matter. She's Let's numb. go. She's numb. She has no feeling. Okay. But she's so cute. Very cute. That's Thank true. you. So adorable, guys. <laughs> Dan, say something nice. No, don't do it. Great hat. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so, um, <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> this game, don't do it. Uh, so, here we are in Hell on Earth, as Mind Lord is saying, Don't worry, Meridian, I'm not going to mess with your mind. I'm, even though I do technically have diplomatic immunity, don't I? <laughs> no, I, Neferionis Delicatitata. Or Samuel Scott, as some of you here on This World call me. I have no need to dominate your mind. I am winning the people's hearts to our cause. 
through good works and outreach. You know, hell isn't really as bad as it's cracked up to be. So, Meridian, you are now in the room with someone who has previously very successfully messed with your brain. I'm going, this is a, this is a one, two, three choice. A, B, C on the controller. Or press X to doubt. Um, here are your options. A. Sit down, have a conversation. B. Punch him before he has a chance to dominate your mind. C. Fly the hell out of there before he has a chance to dominate your mind. Uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to start my clock here, uh, one minute for everyone in chat from... Is he sorry. right that he's like, he has like, he's protected because he's an ambassador? He said that. He may have some, but is he actually, is he actually, uh, uh is he actually observed by the, um, by the, like, by the government? I don't know. That may not... Already playing the mind games. That's the trick, yeah. Uh, we have two votes in chat for punching, by the way, everyone. So A is uh, sit, B is punch, three is get like out. C. 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 We got a C there. C, C. C. I just, <laughs> punching is, I don't think Meridian would punch in this situation. She might not, but uh, no. But, you know, so maybe, I say chat, C. you're say C as well. Would you like to vote? You're gonna you're gonna say A or you you could say A and not be involved, <laughs> and you're like, why does she talk to him? <laughs> no, I'll go C. C. Okay, so um, and I know that I say to chat, you have one minute, but it's from like my minute, so there's a little bit of delay. Uh, that is one minute from what I said it, but um, so Brininger and Gallinari and Saber, I want to say thank you to both of you so much for your long time subscriptions to this channel and your involvement in the sort of downtime and everything but unfortunately the two of you were outvoted by all the players <laughs> we have all come together as one all right so for my meridian lore tile sheet who would like to roll for meridian as she tries to fly with breakneck speed out of here faster than the power of thought I'll do it. You can. All right, please roll a D100. The her, her fly speed is 128. So if you can roll under a 25, you'll have a, a vital, or an extreme success. And under I got a, an 88. An 88? You've succeeded, but it's not as fast as she could fly. She sort of flies out. And as she does so, she feels something entering her mind. Um, I'm going to have you now roll... Who would like to roll her resist coercion? As she tries to shut down her brain. Sure. <laughs> Please roll me a D100. Her resist coercion is not quite as crazy high, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> what do we roll? That is 13 work. 13 in this game... <laughs> actually very good. The lower, is the better. The lower, the better is good. <laughs> That is, for Merid, that is for Meridian and an extreme success. Her, her, she has 92, 46, 18 on this one. Oh man, I thought you rolled a hundred, and I was like, yeah. like a hundred would have been a would have been a fumble for her, and I would have been oh, okay. okay. So basically, she shuts her mind down, and though though a message still comes through, as she now flies out of here at not like not window shattering speed, but like everyone in the street like clothes are sort of you know rumpling in the oh. air as Meridian tears out of this place. Um, as she flies up, Meridian does feel a voice kind of in her mind. It wasn't even trying to control her. It was just Mind Lord going, Oh, that's disappointing. I'm sorry you're so scared of me. We'll come back any time. But by then she's out of his range. So she flies away. Doesn't do, just, she's like, show, and basically we'll say that I think Meridian after that is probably pretty shaken by the fact that she, um, by the fact that that of what she saw so i guess i have another question for you guys meridian is preparing to leave is there anyone she is going to inform about this do you think she would she would let people know i'm gonna actually let the players talk this one out rather than have this be a formal abc choice do you do you, do you think she would like feel the need to alert the authorities should she would she tell top flight that would she tell fiat that is there anyone she 
do, do you think she would feel the need to like tell some and you can say someone who'd be like this that and i can tell you who or do you think she's just gonna not even say that this happened because it's kind of so embarrassing that she you know went in there and was scared I think she would probably, like, alert someone to the fact that this exists, but not say anything else. Understood. Okay. Do you think she'd alert... Would she alert superheroes? Would she alert fiat? So would, she, would she alert straight-up superheroes, fiat, like, superhero organizations, or just the local authorities? Probably fiat. If fiat. they're... Okay. Yeah, and then with the possibility to call in superheroes later. Perfect. Give them the intel. All right, so um, in that case, she's in contact with Fiat a lot, so we're going to move on to um, the group uh, preparing for their jaunt to space the next day. Rena, Violet, Michael, Billy, and Zeb have all packed. Violet, I assume, has packed so many grenades. Violet is a yeah. demolitions expert, no eyebrows. Cool. Um, Rena, have you packed uh, just, what, what has Rena packed for this trip? Anything special? Uh, I don't think space. so. No, okay. Billy packs science to congregation decks. I remember, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, she would just have, like, her tablet and stuff. Anything special that you're bringing, Michael? Uh, tactical suits for everyone, space suits for everyone, weapons to deal with various situations. Um, Understood. So, in other words, yeah. Real so, so, for a mobile command center. So, really, the only person bringing anything non standard equipment is Billy. Billy. Okay, perfect. So, um, you guys sort of arrive, Michael, Rena, and Violet, and Billy, and, and Zeb are there as well as you guys walk in. Um, you notice that Meridian is talking to a couple of sort of other Fiat agents, and um, I'll tell you what, all of you, she's not trying to be like super secretive about this, but if you'll go to your, um, you'll go to your D100 sheets uh, for these characters, um, your Fiat agents, would you guys all give me a listen roll. Let's see if you overhear. Good old Meridian. There's and remember, a if you hard success. success. A hard success. Please click the box. That's just a friendly reminder of how this system works. Forty. Uh, success. Yeah. Click the box. You've done it. How'd you do, Violet? So if it's all zeros. It's all does... zeros. Yes. Okay, that's a fumble. Which okay. Is the worst thing that can happen. So. God. Violet. Do I do I have hearing damage at this point? Like I feel like I already that do, is why but you have hearing damage. Actually, you know what, Violet? You do have <laughs> hearing damage. You have tinnitus. Oh uh, my! I is, have tinnitus at that is, right I, moment. I'm giving you such a bad thing here. One, roll a d10. I've never done this okay. before. Oh, that's incredible. Yes, yes. You're like Archer. Not. <laughs> Ma, ma. Ma, ma. I, I got a three. A three? I am lowering your listen by three to reflect your tinnitus. <laughs> so you have a six, you, your, your listen went from a 70 to a 67. It's right. you're still a better listen than me. So. She's still very good. However, I'm Violet, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Violet, the ringing. Oh my God, this is amazing. I love fumbles, guys. The violet, the, the, oh shit, this is good. The, what you hear meridian saying and i'm gonna say because it's a fumble some other things are happening like because some decisions are made for you basically you overhear meridian saying something about how hell is here right now and the way she's speaking so quietly so what michael michael you hear every word she says rena i think you just hear her pretty well uh, that's a normal success for you rena yes okay so rena you just hear that she's mentioning something about like New Hell has this embassy. They're here now. It's. I just think people should know. Michael, you're hearing her saying, you know, like, like it's a, it's dangerous. It's blah blah blah. She's like, she's, you know, you hear every word basically. You. She's not explaining that she like flew out of there, but she probably does mention that Mind Lord is present. Violet, what you hear is, is, and, and the way you interpret her tone is, she's like, guys, hell is here right now. There's like a demon here right now in this room. Like, you think she means in this room. So Violet, which one of your grenades would you like to throw preemptively at wherever you think a demon is in this room? Uh... And you do only have one neutron grenade, but you can throw it if you want to. If you think that's what would do the best. Um, arcane grenades are maybe a good thing that could go against 
hellish things because they have some magic to them. Vortex grenades are are sort of like a sort of kind of like, you know, kind of create like a mini sort of vortex, you know, storm that kind of sucks uh-huh. into itself. Um, so yeah, Violet. Uh, Violet Tower, what a great addition to the team. Oh, man. She joins up last week, oh, Miss Here's Meridian, God, and throws uh, a grenade. Violet Tower. Uh, <laughs> throws a grenade in a hangar. She, she, want, she wants... It's probably going to be arcane because because it's hell and... I think, oh, my God. I think the fact that it's hell... So we're going to deduct an arcane grenade. The oh. fact that it's hell means you're not busting up the neutron grenade. Because the arcane grenade will do some damage. The fact that... Um, so, okay... Violet, you know what you're gonna do. You're gonna oh, make a no. throw. Roll. So look at your physicality. Uh, you have a ninety okay. in throw. So here we go. Uh, can I, uh, amend? Uh, can Can Rena have brought earplugs? <laughs> yes, she probably doesn't have them in now, but you do. Sure, you but... You absolutely have earplugs. No problem. Thank you. So basically, Michael, <laughs> Rena, Billy, Violet, walking normal, normal, normal. You guys hear Meridian saying that, and in response, you guys see Violet look like, Whoosh! and just Violet, you, I'm going to say part of the fumble. I'm real mean about fumbles. You get it. Like a fumble happens. So I just, <laughs> Violet, you see like a weird shadow nearby. You're like, that's what Meridian's talking about. Yeah. And you, she just pulls a thing. Suddenly glyphs begin igniting all around it. And she throws, what did you roll, Violet? A 90. That is oh a my. success. You just, so the, honestly, at this point, I'll say since it's such a narrow success, you click it because you succeed. It's such a narrow success. You, you're you so freaked out, you're not sure. You just managed to get it clear of you. Oh, okay? wonderful. You just managed to get it clear of you. Please make a luck roll, which is way on the other side, up over your knowledge. You'll We're next to her though, right? So it's clear of us too? It will be clear of you guys, okay. yes. It, it is clear of everyone, and oh my god, I'm gonna be so hated. Oh. What, is, what is your roll? I mean, I'm pretty sure you've done this before. A 73, 73 so 73 is a failure, so yeah. unfortunately, l- not of lucky course. for you, you do throw this at a few Fiat members who, no! are working, who are working like nearby on some stuff for this. But the good Maybe news... Maybe interns? <laughs> yeah, you throw it... Basically, you throw an arcane grenade at some interns as these, like, sigils, and you guys hear these, like, wailing, like, magical things. You smell a little citrus. Um, there's maybe some light blue and light purple. This isn't the full power Eldritch, but it's magic-y. It's this arcane grenade goes off. So the bad news is Violet is throwing an arcane grenade at, at some low... At some, just, like, some interns, probably working on a vital piece that they're about to install on this trip you guys are taking. So that's the bad news. The good news is this game is called Goddamn Meridian Salvation. So, <laughs> Dan, oh. would you please roll a D100 on behalf of Meridian, who sees this happen and is going to just with her, with her incredibly fast speed, she is going to try to just jump and grab this. Um, and if you'd like to, you, she has power. If you want to spend some of her power for a bonus, you can. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I already rolled, so can I just spend power to re-roll? Sure. Uh, I should have done that. <laughs> if you if you fumble, you can't reroll. No, it was an eighty-four. No, I meant for the luck at least or something. Oh, the luck I rolled an eighty-four, and then I spent the power. I rolled a ninety-three. So can I spend the power again? You may spend the power again if you'd like. Sure. Uh, Forty-nine, better. Forty-nine is a hard success. So as she just leaps across the way, but it, it, it's not over there. So she will get there in time, having spent some power. But now, what Meridian must do, as this arcane thing is about to go off, she is. I, I guess I'll. I will give you guys a choice here. Does Meridian simply try to throw it somewhere else? No role required for her to understand this is a. Um, there's no role required for her to know this is an arcane grenade. Like she knows, so like she knows that she could throw it, and that there could still be like monster tentacles shooting out of the ceiling or something. So one option is to throw it to try to get it clear. Option two is to hold it and try to absorb the blast. Option three, fly directly. Like, is there a, like what floor are we on? Are there is there a ceiling above us? Is there a roof above us? Like, please, Dan, make a luck roll for Meridian. She has a fifty-eight. That's a failure, 82. 
Unfortunately, you're deep in the middle of this. There is nowhere clear. There's nowhere clear to go. Her, your, your bet is either to throw it to... Meridian knows where no one is, so she could throw the arcane grenade where it wouldn't hurt anyone, but it'll still cause damage, and it, it, you know, it could cause unforeseen trouble. Or she can try to absorb it herself. What do you guys think? I think you what. Try to absorb it. Absorb. Yeah. All right, yeah. absorb. I'm going to say I'm going to make the claim. I'm going to have Meridian spend another power here. Meridian is going to do a power burst to attempt to do this at like to dramatically increase her. Um, Endurance. So rather doing endurance, she's going to do a power burst. Would you like to roll this one? No. You really don't ever want to roll for Meridian, I understand. Uh, KJ. Actually, no. Sierra, <laughs> let's let's have you handle this, please. Yeah, no. It, uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll a D100, and just for the love of God, don't roll a 100. I don't know anymore at this point. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh my God. No. Did you do it? It's a 98. Okay, so a 98 is a failure, but we're going to... Boy, Meridian's about to be out of power. We can re-roll that. I'm, I'm saying she's re-rolling a 98. Okay, come on. Oh my god! You know what? Actually, hold on. I'm spending one more power. Sierra, please roll two of these percentile ones that have the, the, the tens column on it. Okay, and two of them? And use the lower of that. So roll two of okay. those and only one of the ones column and use the lower. Okay. Next. Meridian has spent a... Th ah, there's a 10 in there. A 10, okay? And yes. then what's the other number? 70. But what's the, what's the, what's the one? Oh. Oh, I didn't roll that one roll because one of... Because uh -huh. this, this actually matters five. here. A five? That means she has succeeded. A five just gets her below her, her, um, her, vi her extreme success, not vital. So basically, Meridian sensing this, like seeing this arcane thing, and just like leaps up as everyone's like, ah, and there's these interns like, huh? As like arcane energy, and Meridian is just like, what's going on? And as she sort of flies, or she doesn't even fly, she just jumps, ah, grabs this thing, nowhere to throw it, just uh, holds it, and this burst of arcane energy. Her endurance is going to be fine. She does still have to roll a resist injury. KJ, let's have you do that one. She has a 116. Nine. Nine? Yeah. That? Zero, zero, and nine, right? Absolutely, nine. zero, zero, and nine. Yeah. With a nine. So Meridian, she had to spend some power. She couldn't quite get there, and she wasn't sure what to do, but she dug so deep, it explodes in her hands, and Meridian takes no damage. So basically, like, as this arcane energy is just, like, wafting around her. Rena and Michael, what do you guys do? Uh, well, I'm, like, diving out of the way, and then I'm like, like, Violet, what the hell? Rena is just gonna, like, sidestep a couple <laughs> steps. Billy's, like, what? he looks up from his cards and he's like, what? My Copernicus deck, what? I, I, I thought I heard that de the demons were here already. Um... And, uh, and, and kind of like, there's one of like the, you know, other, and Zeb says, everyone stand down. Uh, Meridian, are there demons here? Meridian says, Violet, did you, um, did you, did you see a demon? Or you just heard me mentioning? Yeah, I, I heard you mention and I saw a shadow and I, I felt like I had to act and. Understood. Um, <sighs> Meridian kind of like will you know, just kind of stop her hover and come down and wipe the arcane stuff off. And she'll say, you should definitely get in, in a team with arcane uh, cleaning and, and remediation here for, for this. There's there's some latent energies and uh, a team of people in like magical hazmat suits will come in eventually. But Meridian will walk over and say, Violet, I do apologize. Um, perhaps my my empathy powers were were affecting you as, as strongly as they were me. There is no threat in this room, at least none that I know of. Um, let's see. Either you want to do it now, then it'll be Billy or Zeb. If, if Zeb. you want, if you want me off this mission, oh my gosh, Lily! <laughs> Barrett is dark as disappears. Right and at the moment. <laughs> if you want me off this mission. <laughs> um, no, Meridian will um, will sort of say. It's, um, I'm, perhaps that my, my empathetic powers were, were 
made you a little more nervous because of um, there's no I was I was informing uh, some just fiat agents to be to be aware that that new hell has has put an embassy in Alpha City and um, it's just something to be concerned about and I'm sorry that my concern I'm sure we're all tense about this mission since we are going to space so I apologize Violet and um, um, no I, I apologize to everyone I I, I didn't want to I didn't want to cause such a scene like this this is definitely not my best moment like I can do better guys I I, I, I swear make a I swear luck. make a luck roll. <laughs> Rena is uh looking up uh Violet's file <clears throat> of course <laughs> just just to double check if this I would really, too if this is too. actually her best um, moment you know just wonderful the track record. it's an 18 an 18 so the good luck for you is you're like this is not my best moment if you had failed this luck roll oh. i was going to do an abe simpson like <laughs> like like some grenades like roll out of like a pocket like how long was that like when the pants fall down it's like can you go can you go 10 seconds without embarrassing yourself and it's just like one two three four his pants fall down how long was that yeah uh but the good news is you don't though it is not your finest moment certainly meridian says it's all right we're all tense there's a lot going on but i I will say this, Violet. Had there been an actual threat, you acted very quickly. So that's a very good thing. All right. Well, team, how do we feel about heading to space? Ready when you are, Meridian. Less good now. (laughs) (laughs) I have to write that down. Um... (laughs) God damn. About going to space. Rena, that's <laughs> good now. Rena Root. Hey man, really, really living up to her last name there. Um, so as as you guys uh go ahead and board your vessel. Um you notice that they have actually made certain adjustments to the engine area. Um if anyone would like, they could, under their intellect, make an analyze roll to see if they can figure out what it's about on their yes. own. Or an investigate. I would I would say analyze or investigate would, would, would work for either. Same for me. I'll do investigate. Cool. Analyze. Love it. That's a six. Six B! Is that a... That probably doesn't no. get you to... That's, that's extreme. Vital, but it's extreme. Well done. Rena. 64, uh, 64. Regular Regular success. success. Cool. We'll click the box, nonetheless. Um, all right, so... Um, Rena, you're like, oh, yeah, it's like, this is not the standard thing. Oh, I heard we were going to have some stuff. Maybe it's for deep space. Michael, you realize that part of what is different about the engine setup here is that there are a set of handles on it. And you think that this is maybe set up in some way that Meridian get and push. can, from within the ship, push it at her at her flight power. Pretty cool. Um, to sort of kind of give you guys some extra speed. Um, that being said, as you guys take your positions and, you know, toss your toss your bags, Violet, maybe carefully set your bag down uh, in your various areas. Uh, Billy, yeah, like, so... Violet, please make sure that's all stowed away securely, according to regulations. Safeties on those things, or...? I mean, there's pins. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll, I'll most definitely. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, okay. Definitely keep them secured. Oh, my God. Uh, dig a hole, dig a hole. Dig a also, hole. like Violet, like, like, ah, oh, well, thank God I didn't throw the, thank God I didn't throw the neutron grenade. I know, seriously. <laughs> oh man. Um. All right. So as you guys are, uh, as you guys are sort of dealing with this situation, um, I don't know if any of you actually have this as a custom thing. I know that our our man armament did, so this may be a thing where we'll, where we'll talk to sort of who's here and, and see what makes sense. Um. <sighs> It would otherwise just be operate equipment, um, but uh, somebody will still need to pilot this vessel, even with Meridian pushing. Um, I'm going to say all of you have very basic training in any kind of, like, you know, piloting and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, I, okay, I have plus three knowledge to the Challenger explosion. Oh, fucking Dan, give me a luck roll. This is consequential, buddy boy. I mean, my luck is 85, so... I know, yeah, it's good. 
Uh, that's a 65. 65. With a 65, under custom, I am giving you piloting, okay? It's under your coordination. It's uh-huh. a custom skill. Because you have scored a regular success with piloting, please roll a d10. Three. Fuck. You are... Wait, it's a, the, the, it was... Because it was only a regular success, your, only, your, your starting point is a 50. So you're, okay, all you, right. you have a 53. That was just going to kind of be the icing on top. Right. A 53 in piloting means you only you only crit fail on a on a, a crit fumble yeah. on 100. So that's good. But you do now have the ability to pilot. So you are a pilot for this mission. Unless, of course, Violet or Rena just naturally has a higher operate equipment. In Mine case, is... Um, they could say that they're high. What is it? My operate is 57. <laughs> so she's... So without specific, specific pilot training... Oh, you know who's even better is, uh... <laughs> I'm sure Z- Z- You're not Zach. gonna like it! Violet has a... Violet, you wanna tell him what yours is? Oh my god. Oh, wait, it's the... Under coordination equipment, right? operate equipment, yeah. Alright, 75. Oh my god. Yeah. So, Michael, you can, and Michael, I'll say that because it's piloting, like, you know, like, there's, there are some advantages to you doing a piloting because as a pilot, like, they're just trying to operate as a general thing. You, right. you know, yeah. But, um, so who's going to be I the mean, pilot? I'll pilot. We could be, like, like in Star Trek doing other jobs. Yeah, no, there's plenty of jobs to do with the ship. Yeah. So Michael's going to take them out. Go ahead, Michael, make a piloting roll. Do you want to spend any power before you do this for a bonus? Uh, I'm going to spend a power to re-roll. Okay. Do you want to also spend a power to give yourself a bonus? Because you get the bonus on every subsequent reroll. Why not? Why not? Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a three. A three? Yeah. You know what's a bummer for you, though? I don't get to clear the box. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it is now only if you spend luck do you not get to click the box. Oh, oh, great. Okay, Even great. with spending power to reroll, you get to click the box. That being said, here's what the bummer is. With your score... If it was a 60, a 3 would be a vital success, but you'd have to spend one luck to make it a vital. Well. Not vital then. But he clicked the box at least. So with that, yeah. Michael, to a very good extent, even though Violet, like you, you guys, like we're better at this, and Michael isn't always the most coordinated, but when he gets <laughs> when he gets his hands <laughs> on the on I the get my hands controls, on that stick. When he gets his hands on the stick, you can tell this guy knows how to stick it. And <laughs> as the ship begins to leave the earth michael guides it up sort of turning on the thrusters leaving the atmosphere you get a clearance from sort of you know fayat command as you guys leave michael the words of director gallows are still in your ear but oh right i meant to i was gonna say is i was going to i didn't mean to say this earlier i was gonna just, like send a quick message before we were leaving like about to head off planet. Understood. Okay. You were distracted by a random spontaneous explosion. Yes. Yeah, everyone anyone would be shaken up at that point. You you assume Director Gallows knew, but good to, good to it's good to yes. demonstrate that you're on the thing. Um, Michael takes him out. Um, all right, cool. And basically once you guys are sort but of But it would have been like as I'm buckling my seatbelt, yeah. like heading off planet. Text, yeah. So basically as you guys fly up off the world, um, you guys clear sort of Earth's gravitational well or whatever. whatever. I don't know if that's a Star Wars only thing or if that's a real thing. The point is you sort of get far enough and Meridian says, all right, uh, all right, Michael, um, you steer and I'm going to push us a little bit for this first leg. Sounds good. All right. So uh, you see the button there to, uh, and you, you see there's like a special button that's like, like alternative propulsion, basically. So she'll sort of tell you when to hit that. So Meridian goes, all right. Uh, Three, two, one. Alrighty, at this point, um, Meridian is going to put the hammer down. Would, uh, who would like to roll for Meridian to try to power you guys? I mean, Aaron, never mind. Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, would, would you just like to do one for us? Uh-huh, I would really love it. I think she's lying. Yeah, I'm on. I'm in jail right now. <laughs> yeah, you're officially All right. All right, so roll those two. I am going to spend one, however, because I think Meridian, you know, once. No, two. I would like to spend one. Perfect. Then you can spend one. So also roll this friend. So you get to roll all those together. And I'll just say, no, no, those, only those. So you're going to roll those three. 
but Meridian does have to spend some power to do this. So Meridian's actually, between saving those people, Meridian's down to only four power right now. But go ahead I'm and make the roll. Done. I don't feel great about this. You can't do worse. I. 20. <laughs> I mean. Excellent. <laughs> she nah. can't do worse, but she can do equal. For Meridian, oh, with this power, a 20 is an extreme success. And as Meridian That's pushes right. with all her might, sort of digging down, using a power burst from the high noon sun, she now is very close to the sun, because even though it's dark around her, it's also like the sun's direct, like there's no atmosphere blocking it. She kind of, and then pushes the ship, and the ship kind of goes into overdrive through the cosmos. And that is where we'll end this installment of Meridian's <sighs> Salvation as well as this issue of Top Flight Tales. Guys, things got tense there out of nowhere, and that's what I like <laughs> about games like this. And also, I like that it was, I like that even though it was just because of a fumble, like, we will say that, Violet, you were affected by Meridian's empathy. Like, it, that, this is, okay. this goes back to Meridian being out of control. I also gotcha. will say that the only vote where we included the viewers, they were just outvoted by you guys who were like, please don't have us fight this person. <laughs> Um, well, that was great. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. This was really fun. Um, I'm glad that we got to check in on a couple of our storylines. We'll be back next week. Who knows with which storylines? It'll actually be based on Some what players one. we have available. And probably just start a new one just to, so KJ can uh, continue. I, I want to see which murder babe. Three new be. ones. Who cares? I, mean, I think you cares. I'm Michelle. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Marcel Michelle. Okay, well... Um, thank you all for watching. This was a lot of fun. Uh, join us on Friday for Blood from a Stone, where uh, we'll see how things go. Ever since what happened last week. The, oh, uh, uh, this Friday does start with a Dreadstorm. They ended by causing a Dreadstorm last week. So oh, shit. This week is starting. I still got to re read last week's recap. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> last week's recap, by the way. Uh, there's some fun. Then on, um, on, uh, on Sunday, we're back with Here Be Dragons. It's been a long time, but we'll be back with that. Monday, we are back with more Dreamlands. As of now, a new challenger appears, is beating the light in the gate, but it is not like a super runaway yet. So uh, please vote on which of those options you'd like. Um, but both are following up on previous... Uh, sort of like fact finding, you know, both of those are following up on previous uh, uh, clues, so following different threads, so that's what's going on um, and then we'll be back one week from tonight for more of this fun, please go to our YouTube to watch old episodes, go to our Discord to vote for that, and to interact with us and all that fun stuff um, go to the, uh, check out the uh, the wiki that Sophia and various other wonderful uh, viewers have uh have sort of uh, participated in putting together where you can read how all the games interact and check out more recaps. There's also recaps on the Discord. Guys, there's recaps all over the place. So thank you so much. Super fun stuff. Um, I say this for the... Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, check all that out. Um, please follow our wonderful players. Um, I know they do they do cool stuff. Um, I think Dan's been streaming, so follow Steinbergler here on Twitch to see what he's up to. Um, do we? I know we have a lot of people to thank in yeah. chat. So, um, yeah. yeah, just starting from uh, earlier on tonight. Uh, so, first of all, thank you, uh, Berninger, for resubscribing. Uh, it's 24 months. Uh, thank you, Galanori and Saber, for resubscribing. That's 21 months. Um, we also had a hype train, so thank you, Tiger Piggy, for cheering bits. Thank you. Um, uh, you. Thank you, uh, Galanori and Saber, for, and, and for resubscribing, Tiger Piggy. Uh, we really appreciate <laughs> having you around. Uh, and then Galanor and Saber, thank you for gifting a woman subscription to Reacher 2024. Reacher 2024. Uh, thank you, me, for cheering a bit. Um, and then Berninger also also cheered another 100 bits, so thank you for that. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the bits and the subs. <sighs> that sounded worse. Speaking yeah, of which, sorry. we're coming to the end of Domuary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got, is it, is it Darch? Or, or next month is Donch. Donch, right, Donch, yeah. Um, no, it's subuary, subuary, and then dom. Subuary, then dom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then yeah. subril. Oh boy, guys, nothing about these sound good. A special thanks to Violet Tower for uh, nearly, nearly killing a couple of interns. Yeah. That would have been great. Uh, that was, that was great, Sierra. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Yeah. It. Um, got good, you. Good times. Thanks. <laughs> when in doubt, got to have fun. fun. Oh, it was wonderful. So, uh, so this was a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys all being here. Wonderful players. Thank you so much. Until next time, have. 
a top knight. Uh, oh, Meridian closing. We ended Meridian. We'll do that one. Uh-huh.